All right, guys. Welcome back to module four of our bow weapon making course. Um, we're going to start off with this course on going over some kind of different things for woods you want to look out for. Uh, now, when you're picking out woods for your bow, there's many different kinds out there that you can use from red oak, uh, elm, ash. Uh, I've seen maple used. Um, you really want to make sure you have something that's going to have some give to it. You don't want a real hardwood. Um, things like uh, hardwoods like maple um, are good as well as other things. But um, if you get into like a mahogany, now mahogany is considered a hardwood and it's used in a lot of furniture. But as for bow making, it's considered not the greatest because it doesn't have a lot of flex or give. So after a couple times of use, mahogany actually has a tendency to splinter and crack and just split in half. And when you're using other kinds of woods that have those same characteristics, you're gonna run into that kind of problem. Here I have a piece of red oak that I got from a local uh, lumber store. It's pre-processed um, and treated. But the thing that you wanna make sure that you really check is the grain. That's what's gonna really determine if it's a good piece of wood for you. And this is a process that can take a long time when you're in the lumber store. And you're gonna get a lot of people giving you looks because they're gonna be like, what is he doing? Because people don't often take the time to go through every piece of board and try to find a good grain. Um, because when you're using this stuff for construction or home or furniture, you know, you, you want decorative grains that are gonna look nice. People don't really want the straight grain. Um, the reason you want the straight grain for bow and archery use is because that's what's gonna give the piece of wood its strength. You wanna make sure that you can see, I can start my finger on this piece of grain here and I can follow this grain and it just goes straight up the board. Now, even though this grain, it looks like it's straight, it's technically not truly straight because you can see here on the side view on the end cut, the grain goes kind of diagonal, which just means this was cross cut. So when this was actually cut, the grain for the wood ran like this because you can see how the spirals go around. So you really want to make sure that you try to get something as straight as possible. And even if it's kind of cross cut, and the grain looks straight, but it's not as straight, that's still gonna be a lot stronger than something that has a lot of decorative arches. Um, arches are when you have those grains that kind of come up and then they bow and then they come back down. That's gonna be your arching grain. And the reason you don't want any kind of arching grain inside of a long bow or kind of a, a bow limb is because as it, as it bends, that arch can lift up and actually separate from the rest of the layers of the wood, and then that's gonna create a weak spot. Now, the reason we use backings, which we're gonna cover in the rest of this module, is to prevent that. If you have no other choice and you have to use a piece of wood that has some arches in it, or uh, a weaker kind of bow wood, um, you're gonna to wanna to back it up. And what that backing is gonna do is gonna allow you to have some kind of, it's essentially gonna wrap the wood so when that piece of arch tries to lift up and try to separate from the rest of the wood, your backing is going to kind of force that down and keep it in place as long as possible to make your bow last longer.